Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dilesh Ralgi and you're watching Tiki Programmer. So today in this video, we are going to build a skill set based recommendation system, which is a recommendation system wherein we are going to take few inputs from the user and based on his requirement, we are going to rank of the people from our data set uh, into the similarity with what he wants or he is asking. So let me just open up my PyCharm and let's see what is the code, what is the tech stack and where you can download this particular code and I'll make a walkthrough and a demo. So let's get started with the video. So first of all, let me launch my PyCharm here and this is the code. So basically, uh, first of all, let me open up the Chrome for you so that I can make sure I will just show you where the required files are located you can just type nilesh key skill set based recommendation system okay so this is the main repo okay uh, the link to this repo, repo is given in the description so you can just go there and check out and uh, I have also written the readme.md file here so you can just go through and here even I have a GIF file which shows how the things work. So talking about the tech stack that I have used to build this particular project is Python 3.x. You can use any Python 3 version. And in the back end, uh, I just thought of making this project using a Flask, a web frame, micro web framework. So I have built it using Flask. And of course, as I said, it's a web framework. We need a front end which serve the web purpose. So I have used HTML, CSS and a little bit of JS here and there. And then uh, the data, data set input feed is CSV and JSON. I'll show you how I did manage to do that uh, CSV file and the JSON thing. So we'll be moving on there in a while. And the base concept on which this particular complete project depends is a Euclidean distance that we have studied in our schools. That is the distance is equals to summation of square of the distance, like square of the uh, subtraction square of, yeah, you can just see the formula here. I'm just getting tongue twisted. Okay, so uh, first of all, let me just, uh, the same files are present in this particular directory. So here we have something called as uh, thousand data set dot JSON. So first of all, uh, I had a CSV file, then I converted that particular file to JSON file. So let me just show you how the CSV file looked earlier. Let me just minimize this window here. And this is a dataset file. So what does it has? It has a section or a table for the names of the people. And then uh, everyone has their own skill set. So let's say Adam has a skill set of HTML to a level of four. Uh, the complete rating for any user is based on five. So rating is on how good are you based on like out of five. So Adam is good at four, then it is he is good at Python at five, that is maximum. And he's good at Java also, and he's good at C, and he is good at JavaScript at level four. So basically that is a random data here. So you can see Lisa is good at four, one, one, and three. So these are the stars out of five. So now what we are going to do is, we are going to use this data set. Currently this is an example data set. You can just use a real data set. To work with that would be really exciting then what we are going to do is uh, just go to the chrome I tried to do that using this particular website okay uh, just go here and type CSV to JSON okay so go here and CSV to JSON just select the file uh, for example uh, let me just show you the same file. Yes. So once you load the file, just click on this hash button here and then just hit on convert and you will be getting this particular output. So you can just download this and keep it in your complete, I mean the project folder. So that is the file. This it is like, this is the file that I have used. That is thousand data set.json. It's just an example. So uh, what happens here is it just converts uh, you know, to a list of lists, something like that in Python. 
so Boris is a name and then we have his skill set ranked so once done with this okay so we have a JSON file so we have a basic recommendation file uh, which does the recommendation thing or which thinks what should be recommended to the user so for that what we're going to do is go to the recommender.py file here so let me just explain what is going on here so first of all we are going to import json because we are working with the j.json files and then we have a data frame i'm just going to load, load that particular json file i preferred json instead of csv is just because i don't want it to work with the csv files and when we are going to do a web project why not we work with a json something like that so that was the intention behind why i am using json and then uh, this is a sim dist distance called as similarity distance that is the thing as i said you can just read more about it at the documentation here euclidean distance and here what we can see is uh for items in the requirement of json person one so it is just going into two times like we are going to take the preferences whatever he says for example uh let me just select an example from here so let's say Amelia, it goes here, selects a person, then takes this, then compares it with another person. That is what similarity is. It checks for the minimum distance between the two people and who has a minimum distance is similar to each other. So that is the fact or that is the way this Euclidean distance work. So once that we are able to realize who lies beside or nearer to a person, then we are able to tell that uh, okay this person is nearer to that particular person so these both people are similar something like that so this is the code for similarity distance as I said and this is nothing but the formula that's just this is that this is the formula that we are going to use which is just compressed there and then what I'm going to do is top matches top matches what it does is uh, it just runs through for a thousand people for based on whatever the person says for example i'm a user end user then whatever i enter based on that it just uh goes there and searches for the top information and ranks the people based on the highest to lowest so that is what i'm doing i'm going to take the score then sort it then reverse it then print the score that is not necessary actually and then return for example if i want 10 people or 20 people so i'll just return that particular data so once doing that, I'll be returning this for the top matches, right? Just remember this. What we are going to do here now is I'm going back to my main file. This is where a Flask thing works. So basically, as I said, we are going to use Flask here. And as we are going, uh, as if you are familiar with Flask, you might be familiar with this particular folder called templates, which has the HTML files. So basically, uh, this is the HTML file. Let me just run this so that I can show you. So I, I'm actually running this. I've just hit on this. So here you can see this is the project that I'm talking about. This is a form, so basically a HTML form. So I'm going to receive the form or whatever the people, the person enters. And the method here is post. So here, even here you can confirm that. You can just go up and yeah you can just search for form okay method post and we are going to send it to localhost i mean the home directory so coming back to the main file here you can see request method equals equals post that would be true then it comes here it requests the form and from form we are going to go with the name that is HTML, Python, Java, and C, and JavaScript here, and the candidate here. So let me just show you. This is the name I'm talking about. These should be same, because we are going to, based on the name, we are going to discriminate what type of data is input, it has taken input. So once I get the information of the data, what type of data it is. So what I'll do is come here, go to the result. Now that I have imported the recommender, that is this file, okay uh, let me go here recommender dot top matches i'm going to call this particular function called top matches which is going to return me what i ask for so i'll go back to my main function i will tell him to go with the requ requirement that is this 
uh, whatever this whatever let me say that if i type something here let's say if i type i want someone who is good at html but maybe just level star one is enough for me but i want some good developer with python skills so maybe four and even a good java developer but c okay i don't need a c if i need a java javascript again i will just need a like this and if i want to get five people so this is how it looks so whatever right now i have typed this is what i call requirement so this requirement as as a file will be submitted here as a result i'm not sorry not result what i mean is this requirement here so this will be completed as a requirement structure and this requirement will be passed here and then we are going to pass a recommender dot data frame from the recommender itself and then we are going to file then pass the name of the person that is the requirement here and the number of candidates that is the yen in this particular yeah you can see it is this particular person yen here so once i'm going to pass that yen it is going to print the result here on the console then what we are going to do is we are going to render the html that is the index.html again first of all we are going to render it with name and score that is the reason why i'm seeing your score and name here okay and as soon as i give this information or the input fields and then hit submit it just does all the calculations there in the back end and tries to provide me someone who is good or is nearer to what i wanted so uh, according to whatever i had typed right now that was four four one three something so based on that requirement these are the people it recommends me to go with so these are not good at html but these people are good at python java and javascript that is how this particular recommendation system works so let's say if i want a html developer that's a joke right yeah so if i say i need a html programmer maybe uh, let's say i need i don't need a python or java yeah i need a c developer again and if i need a javascript and if i need people who know html and c maybe and I, I need some five people so now i can see zoe is someone who, who scores at 0 0.5 one is the maximum score here so thinking that 0 0.5 is the highest possible score so it just means that this person is good at HTML and C. So I hope uh, I'm making myself clear. And comparatively, uh, these people are ranked at 0 0.33 and Ava is at 0 0.2. So these people are similar to what I wanted. So this is how this skill set based recommendation system works. So basically what you can do is if you want to build this particular project, uh, make sure you hit like, share and subscribe first because helps me and motivates me to bring uh, these type of projects in the future what you can do is just go to this particular link hit here copy this or download the zip okay and then uh, what maximally you need to do is go go down here go to the terminal and I'm just going to use a flask so just hit pip install flask and I won't be using other libraries here because recommender is our own created library and rest of the things I have included like index file etc so no need to worry about much if you want to explore more go and explore and I want you people to understand this particular I want you people to understand this particular maths behind how the things work because it's just like you know uh, continuously comparing one single person with multiple people for example there are thousand people and that is done by this particular script like it's going to compare one single person with thousand others and then it is going to rank them according to the score uh, the maximum is one and minimum is zero so based on that then we are going to sort them in the list and then we are going to present it beautifully using html and css that is how it works so this is it this is my project actually this is my mini project i'm going to submit to my university 
so i hope you liked this particular video make sure you hit like share and subscribe that's it for today see you in the next video and if you have any suggestion or if you want to continue this project let me know in the comment section and we can work together uh, other suggestions that i can give if you are like if you are able to understand this particular project uh, other suggestions that i would like to give is i have made it kind of a static here because a user who comes in is not able to give his own data set he needs to work with our own data set so what you can do is uh, you can make uh, another file or html document uh, site wherein uh, you can just ask a user to upload his own csv files so as soon as he uploads that is converted back to json and then it reads and based on his skill set i mean whatever he has the columns beside the names will be automatically converted to the forms and then I uh, like rest of the things I hope you get it but I don't think that would be necessary right now for me for my project but this is what I want you people to integrate if you are going to continue with this project let me know you can join as a contributor if you are going to really work on this project so let me know in the comment section I hope you like this video for more make sure you hit like share and subscribe that's compulsory so that you get new videos so that's it for today see you in the next video until then take care and bye bye